John Mikas. I'm the executive director of the Delaware Plain Processing Facility. And I'm here to talk to you all about our experience with Craig Lucy and his team serving as a, as a, as a broker for us in our real estate transactions. Uh, we are a very unusual organization. We have both grown and shrunk over time. And Craig's team has been able to adopt uh, our space needs to our situation. Um, for example, we started out as a 13,000 square foot organization, and we have grown um, with options on space up to 130,000 square feet, with the possibility throughout this process that we would need to shrink, um, and also with the option to grow. It's turned out we've grown and used most of this space, but Craig's team kept us with all of our options in front of us throughout the process and they were incredibly responsive and creative, which was, which was nice, that's what we needed. And they did it with honesty and integrity, and it was a very positive experience for us um, on what was a very difficult project. Uh, Craig's team came recommended by Young Conway, a law firm here in Wilmington, Delaware. They were very pleased with the service they received, and I have to say the, that we've had exactly the same experience. Hello, I'm Herschel Abbott, president of Bell South's DC operations. Shortly after I took over Bell South's DC operations, I met Craig Lucy. Mr. Lucy had negotiated in 1993 a very substantial rent reduction for this office when we had four years remaining on the lease. As it happens, in 2002, we had about four years remaining on the lease again, and we went back to Mr. Lucy and asked him to see if he could duplicate what he had done before. In fact, he exceeded what he had done before. He got an even larger rent reduction while maintaining the old rent reduction in place. We were very pleased. He is extremely creative, extremely knowledgeable. He has superb negotiating skills. He's head and shoulders above his peers. I'm Pete Fantuso, CEO of the American Bus Association here in Washington, D.C. The American Bus Association has been around D.C. for more than 80 years now. And in that period of time, uh, we have had differing needs for space, uh, for our employees, and for our members when they come to Washington to visit. In the last decade and a half, we've worked with Craig Lucy various opportunities and, and more recently in the last eight years, uh, Craig has assisted us as we moved out of space, uh, negotiating with our prior landlord and negotiating as we moved into new space with our current landlord. We're currently, as an association, looking at leasing space again or potentially even buying space in a condo building and Craig has been instrumental in helping us with those negotiations as well. Uh, one of the reasons we, one of the many reasons we use Craig Lucy is because of his honesty, his integrity, and most importantly because of his knowledge of the Washington, D.C. market. Uh, in addition, Craig is someone, unlike a lot of other vendors in different areas that we work with, who is, who is always with us and always by our side. Uh, long after the deal is done, Craig makes sure that, uh, the, that uh, the landlord is working with us in a way that we anticipated when we signed the lease and continues to look for ways that we can either reduce cost or enhance our own presence in the building as a tenant. Uh, without Craig, we wouldn't have been able to do uh, many of the things that we've done to date or that we're looking at doing in the future, and we certainly value him as a good partner in the association. To start with, uh, Craig, came in, in within my reach, so to speak, by himself. After having uh, worked with him for a short while, I understood that he is both a mathematic brain and also a negotiational brain, which was needed to get this project safely in Harvard. And uh, I found that Craig and I got a very, very good uh, relationship. And uh, today I I would say he's my friend, and uh, that is depending on his uh, uh, strength to keep on going, to keep uh, also when the, the deal was closed, he has been on my side whenever a problem ar arises, and we have done a very good job together, and I guess 
if didn't we have had Craig on on this work, I think we wouldn't have wouldn't have the possibility to meet the schedule, to meet the the cost frames that we have. Uh, I am the administrative partner of the law firm of Young Conway Target and Taylor LLP, uh, principally uh, located in Wilmington, uh, Delaware. I uh, have the privilege and pleasure of talking about Craig Lucy. Um, first met Craig somewhere in 1999 or 1998 when someone happily referred us to him at the time that we were uh, negotiating to continue our lease for our, our then facility in Wilmington, which he helped us with for very for many months, maybe even a year, until it became clear that we were in the wrong building and at the wrong time. Uh, he then helped us locate and negotiate a lease and move into another facility a few blocks away where we still are, happily. Uh, as 2006 and 2007 came along, Craig uh, has assisted us in now renegotiating an, an extension of our lease and acquisition of additional space in the building. Um, Craig's asked me to say a few things about him, and I will. Uh, Craig is a person that listens to his clients and he listens to the other parties to the transaction. He then understands our needs and he understands the needs of the other party and looks for solutions that will serve all of our needs in a, in a productive way. Uh, He's creative and he's inventive, and he finds ways to get the job done. He's persistent, maybe even unrelenting, uh, but he does not cross the line to being obnoxious. And in fact, uh, our landlord uh, loves him. Um, he's always accessible, and sometimes when you're talking to him on the phone, he's running a marathon. But that's because he's super dedicated to what he is uh, doing. Uh, he serves a valuable function for us. We're here in Wilmington, and Craig keeps us up to date on what's happening in our region, probably uh, in, in, in the nation in terms of what we should be looking for and what are the most important uh, leasing trends. Um, I have referred him to a couple of other uh, law firms and, and, and clients of ours, and they have uniformly been pleased uh, with his services. Um, Hi, my name is uh, Rocco Carlini. I am currently the Managing Director of Administration for CTIA. CTIA is the Cellular Telecommunications and Internet Association. Um, previously, I was the Legal Administrator for Ginsburg, Feldman & Bress. I first met Craig as we were winding down Ginsburg, Feldman & Bress, and one of the largest liabilities we had to deal with was the space. And we had a problem, and we had a short period of time and we needed someone that could facilitate a deal. And quite frankly, there was very few people who could meet our challenge of quickly taking care of the space on the terms that we wanted. That was a win for both sides. Uh, when I first met Craig, he was on the other side of the table, and he was a very positive force. He was one of the few people who said, yes, we can do a deal. Yes, we can do it quickly. And the interesting part about it, it was a win for both sides. Uh, Ginsburg no longer had the space, and the new tenant, CTIA, had a wonderful space to move into in a timely manner. It was a win-win for both sides. Subsequent to that, I went to work with uh, CTIA. One of the things I found out was from day one, even after we signed that deal, Craig said to me, my services doesn't stop today. You're going to find out that I'm going to bring you deals throughout the length of this lease. It doesn't matter if there's 10 years left on this lease. Year one, year two, year three, year four, I'm going to bring ideas to you. And I'm going to bring you, show you ways that you can save money. And that's exactly what uh, Craig has done. To this day, we're going on oh, five years. And Craig has continuously, from the moment I came to work for CTIA, we have continued our relationship. And he has continued to show me ways how CTIA can potentially save money in the market. The thing that sets Craig apart from other brokers is that you can find many brokers in Washington who can tell you they'll lease your space, and they're probably pretty good at doing it. What differentiates Craig is that he's going to bring you ideas, he's going to bring you concepts that other brokers don't think of, or quite frankly, other brokers don't have the skill to deliver on. And I think that's what really separates Craig apart from the rest, is that there's lots of folks in town who talk about doing a deal, 
Craig has the creativity to get it done. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Does the deal get done? Does it save money for the firm or the association? And is it a win for all the sides involved? And that's the best thing I can say about Craig. Craig looks at finding a way, not to say no to a situation, but finding a way to say yes to a situation and getting the job done. And just to look back over the last um, four or five years, Craig has remained true to his word. In many situations where I needed assistance, Craig was not interested in of getting a commission or interested in how it necessarily affects him. He was interested in how it affects the client, in this case, CTIA. And where we are now in our relationship, it's strong, it continues on. And Craig, true to his word once again, over the last five years, has brought me deals every year and has looked to see how he could help CTIA as a client. So for those who are potentially interested in getting for those who are potentially interested in getting a broker who's creative, who can get the job done and can deliver on his word, Craig is that person. I actually requested this interview. I was not asked to do this. Um, and I thought it was important and um, I was a willing partner in this because I was so extremely pleased with the services that we've got. We're a nonprofit organization, so it's really important that we conserve the donations that we get from our members um, wisely. One of my uh, mottos has always been under promise and over deliver, and I think in the case of um, the type of service that we've gotten from it's just been fantastic. Um, in fact, in the six and a half years that I've been here at the Wilderness Society as Executive Vice President, I think this is by far the smartest decision I ever made. A uh, fantastic uh, relationship for the Wilderness Society. Uh, I could possibly be more pleased uh, with what Craig has, uh, Craig and Joanna have delivered for us. First of all, Craig is brilliant. Um, he has an extremely uh, intense uh, uh, approach to issues. He becomes very familiar with the needs of the client, but he also has an, an exhausting knowledge of the market and all of the key landlords that are in the Washington, D.C. area. This proved to be invaluable for us. Along the way, uh, I came to really appreciate um, um, both the, the personalities and the commitment to us as an organization and uh, came to view Craig and Joanna as, as real friends uh, and felt that they were really interested in our success as clients. So again, from a, from a business point of view, I couldn't possibly have been more pleased with where we are, and that's the reason that I volunteered to do this interview. They didn't have to break my arm to get me to say this. Since we are a national conservation organization, we are very worried about global, uh, uh, global warming and climate change. Is that late in the game, um, I indicated to Craig that um, uh, it would be one of our goals in, um, in renegotiating our lease was to take into consideration the commitment of a given landlord to helping uh, to work with us to reduce our energy consumption and to uh, make some very positive steps uh, to combat climate change and global warming. And what Craig has done is taken the, the motivation, I think from us as a conservation organization, we're interested in um, improving um, on our energy conservation uh, agenda, um, walking the talk, so to speak, and reducing our energy load and then offsetting uh, the carbon that we generate in this organization. He took that concept and he actually developed a strategy for us achieving it, and not only for us achieving it, but for many other uh, entities and, and uh, business organizations for achieving it as well. Just one story that's sort of uh, representative of the type of service that I feel we've gotten from um, Craig and Joanna. I called him up late in the negotiation process and said to him, Craig, look, I think this carbon offset is a great idea, but I'm also really interested in, this, in reducing our footprint, our energy footprint, by um, not being dependent on electricity from coal-fired um, power plants or um, oil-fired uh, power plants, but I'm really interested in seeing if we couldn't get just a small portion of our electricity into this building coming from renewable resources like wind or solar power. And I had called Craig to give him this idea when he was driving his kids to school in the morning. I sat down to type up a memo to um, uh, my president to tell him about the conversation. By the time I finished that email, called Craig back, and in that intervening 30 minutes time, as he's driving his kids to work, he already speed dialed the CFO from Pepco, had a number of conversations with some of the major landlords in the city, and had already pulled together a game plan for getting not only a rate reduction overall for this building, but then to take some of the proceeds and the savings that rate reduction to get us close to 100%, we're hoping, close to 100% renewable energy coming in to uh, um, supply the Lord and Society for our needs in this, in this uh, building way beyond my expectations.